Coming up on today's show, the Niners created some cap space with some contract restructures. Jimmy Garoppolo trade rumors to the Browns starting to create some buzz. And should the 49ers sign free agent tight end Austin Hooper, who was just let go by Cleveland? That's all coming your way on today's show. But first, want to thank the homies for getting us past 57,000 subscribers as the largest 49ers news and rumors channel here on YouTube. If you want free daily videos covering the latest 49ers news and rumors, hit that red sub button down below. We have you covered with year-round Niners coverage. All right, welcome into the 49ers report by Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Senior. NFL free agency day three officially underway. And I think on tap, we have a big day coming all across the National Football League. If the Niners make a big move, we have you covered right here on the channel. We start off with the 49ers creating some much-needed cap space with some contract restructures. George Kittle, Eric Armstead did have their contracts restructured, which in turn creates a little less than $19 million in 2022 cap space. Also, yesterday, D. Ford's contract was also tinkered with and restructured, which created about $5 million more of cap space. Now, what does this mean for San Francisco moving forward? They now have $9.1 million in cap space. A big move could be coming because of this. They also needed to clear up some dollars to clear some space for the signing of Charvarius Ward, which will be made official today because that is the official start of the new league year. Jimmy Garoppolo now is on the roster to start the new league year, and he has a $26.9 million cap hit for 2022. So really by messing around with the contracts of George Kittle, Eric Armstead, and D. Ford, that now leads to the 49ers keeping Jimmy Garoppolo at least to start the new league year. But if you trade him away and you get him off the books, it gives the Niners a lot of money at their disposal to make some moves in NFL free agency. So it's been somewhat silent so far for the Niners in free agency the first two plus days. So how would you grade what the Niners have done so far? Grade it for me, A, B, C, D, or F. It's going to be the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, just scroll on down and get your votes in. Jimmy Garoppolo trade rumors continue to be at the center of conversation in the NFL rumors landscape as he continues to be at the forefront of one of the biggest storylines so far in the 2022 NFL offseason. A lot of stuff going down with the Cleveland Browns, and it all started last night. I hopped in some Browns Twitter spaces last night. It was fascinating, and I had to stay on board for a couple of hours because there was so much going on after Baker Mayfield had written a long thank you letter to Cleveland, which basically spelled the end, maybe, of his tenure with the Cleveland Browns after being selected number one in the NFL draft out of Oklahoma a couple years ago. And a big reason why Mayfield wrote that thank you letter is because the Browns have made an official offer for a Deshaun Watson trade in addition to the New Orleans Saints, the Carolina Panthers, and the Atlanta Falcons. So the Houston Texans have offers on the table for one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League from all of those teams, and Mayfield has seen the writing on the wall. He knows that the Browns are out on him, so he wrote a thank you letter to Cleveland for the up and down tenure that he's had Basically, he said, Cleveland, I gave my all for this franchise, but I think it's inevitable that he's going to get traded over the next couple of days, even if the Browns do not land Deshaun Watson. And a lot of Browns media types think that if Deshaun Watson goes elsewhere and not to Cleveland, that would open up an opportunity for Cleveland to target Jimmy Garoppolo to basically be a stopgap for Kevin Stefanski's offense. They think he's a good fit. They think that the move would make sense to really be that bridge quarterback for Stefanski to then go after a quarterback next offseason. We might have to wait for the Deshaun Watson trade to go down as the next domino to fall to see where Garoppolo goes and for a trade to happen. Now, the team's in on Deshaun Watson right now. These are the firm squads. New Orleans Saints, Carolina Panthers, Atlanta Falcons, and the Cleveland Browns. As I talked about, all of these teams have made formal offers to the Houston Texans in a trade for Deshaun Watson. But he can only go, obviously, to one of these destinations. So let's say that he goes to one of these teams, right? That remains three teams who are still in the market for a quarterback where Jimmy Garoppolo and a trade could make sense. So 
The Deshaun Watson domino has to fall to then pave open an opportunity for a Jimmy Garoppolo trade to finally happen. And that's why we go back to those contract restructures because the new league year officially starts this afternoon. Jimmy Garoppolo is still going to be on this roster, so the Niners needed to clear up some cap space. Are you annoyed that Jimmy G has not been traded yet? I think a lot of people figured that he was going to get traded. Then the shoulder injury and the surgery kind of complicated things. If you are annoyed, hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. Today's show presented to you by our wonderful sportsbook partner, Bet US. All year they've been offering a 125% deposit bonus. Only if you plug in that link down below, chatsports.com slash 49 bet, and enter the promo code Niners125. NCAA tournament. Tipping off on Thursday, one of the best sporting events on the sporting calendar. And here are the national championship updated odds. Gonzaga Bulldogs leading the charge at plus 325, followed by the Arizona Wildcats, Kentucky, Kansas, and Baylor rounding out the top five. Now for me, I like Gonzaga to get back to the national title game and actually win it. Last year they went down to Baylor. I like Villanova as well as a sneaky team to possibly win a third national championship under head coach Jay Wright. Get your bets in and be bold about it by going to chatsports.com slash 49bet. Enter the promo code Niners125. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about Austin Hooper and the potential possibility of him being let go by the Cleveland Browns because they needed to clear up some cap space that move has been made official. The Browns releasing Austin Hooper to save some money on the salary cap, and the Niners were interested in him going back to 2020 NFL free agency when he was originally with the Atlanta Falcons, then signed a contract with the Cleveland Browns. And he does have ties to the San Francisco regime. He played for Kyle Shanahan when Shanahan was the offensive coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons before becoming the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. And according to reports, Jeremy Fowler was on this back a couple weeks ago. The Niners are expected to be interested in Austin Hooper. Austin Hooper is a quality dual threat tight end who can do some damage in the pass game, but also offer you something that George Kittle offers you as a blocker in the ground game as well. And in Kyle Shanahan's offense, he hasn't really messed around with a lot of 12 personnel, meaning two tight ends on the field at the same time. I'd like to see more 12 personnel packages from Kyle Shanahan. And if the 49ers wanted to explore the idea of bringing in Austin Hooper and putting him on the field at the same time as George Kittle, especially if Trey Lance is your starting quarterback in 2022, I think it would add a different element to this 49ers offense and make them a little bit more unpredictable, not just in the pass game, but also in the run game, because you have two tight ends who can block in George Kittle and Austin Hooper, two tight ends who can run a variety of routes in the offense with Hooper and Kittle, but also adds a little bit of a different element to the run game as well with Trey Lance and his ability to run and throw the ball as a dual threat quarterback. Now, I do expect Austin Hooper to be offered some decent money on the free agency market because there are several teams out there who are going to be invested in bringing in Austin Hooper and are going to be interested in him in the NFL free agency market. But if the Niners can bring him in for cheap, and Hooper is willing to take a discount to come to San Francisco and be tight end two to George Kittle, I think it adds a nice little element to this 49ers offense. And of course, he does have that familiarity with Kyle Shanahan because he was his offensive coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons before becoming the head coach of San Francisco. Should the 49ers sign Austin Hooper? You let me know. Chime in into the comment section. Type S for sign, P for pass. Once again, chime in and let me know in the comment section right now. Now, if you want to give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram at Chase underscore Senior, I tweet out the latest Niners news and rumors, video clips from the shows, and basically keep you up to date with all things Niners all throughout the year. I also cover the NBA and college football here at Chat Sports because I'm not a one-way stiff, and I give shout-outs to those who give me a follow on social media. I've made it a pretty easy duty for all of you. It's the same handle on both social media platforms, at Chase underscore Senior. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because anytime the Niners make a move, we have you covered faster than anybody else. Like when they signed Charvarius Ward. I was about to go to bed, set my alarm, saw the notey from Schefter, rolled out of bed and recorded a video. Who else is doing that? Nobody, because we're built different and we're members of the Niner gang just like you. So hit that red sub button down below and keep 
uh, an eye out for more 49ers videos. And thanks for watching today's show.